Hey, Tyler from Matthews here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you our new line of Noga arms and accessories. We have two new arms, a large arm measuring 22 inches long and a medium arm measuring 10 and a half inches long. The difference between our arms and the competitions is the fact that we use a steel rod system inside as opposed to a cable system. As a lot of you know, that cable system over time will stretch and eventually break and then that arm will no longer be useful. My favorite accessory by far is the quick release. Release it there. Light please. And as simple as that, I have, I went from my iPad to an LED. Installing the quick release to the Noga arm is really simple. Using the quarter 20 side of the Noga arm, take the quick release and spin it on. Then pull down on this little lever to take the top piece out. Mount your top piece and you're ready to go. The quarter 20 to 5 8 adapter allows you to go from the 5 8 pin with the quarter 20 female on top to a quarter 20 male or flip it around and now you have a 5 8 female. We also have a 5 8 to 3 8 male adapter which will basically turn the terminating end of the Noga arm into a 3 8 male thread or flip it over and you now have a 5 8 female baby receiver. Each of the arms have a flat spot on the 5 8 pin. That flat spot was designed specifically when using Mafer clamps. That flat spot needs to line up where the T-handle is. So line up your flat spot, insert it into the hole on the Mafer, push the pin in, lock your T-handle, and you're good to go. In this configuration, I used the 3 8 to 5 8 adapter to mount the medium Noga arm to this Mathalini. Easy as that. In addition to using a Mathalini or a Mafer clamp, I can take a suction cup and spin it onto either end of the Noga arm. And that suction cup will allow me to mount these Noga arms onto cars or anything with a non-porous surface. In addition to the quick release and all the other accessories we have, we have a quick quarter 20 based thumb nut. Not your thumb nut here. Take your quarter 20 based device, put it close to the thread on the top and use the thumb nut to lock it down. For those of you wanting to mount your DSLR to the end of the Noga arm, we have a dovetail plate system. Put it in sideways. And now you have your DSLR mounted to the end of your Noga arm. You can easily reposition and take your picture. Well, here are a few examples of various setups along with the corresponding part numbers to make things a little easier for you. Thank you again. See you soon.